Q3 earnings, reservations, and what is going on with the Virgin Galactic marketing. This and much more this Friday on Virgin Galactic Fridays. Welcome to another episode. I put my suit on, my space suit, obviously because it's Virgin Galactic Fridays and I would like to ask you two things. First of all, make sure to hit the subscribe button and to not miss any content here on this channel because I'm posting so much content like no other YouTuber out there. So make sure to not miss anything and make sure to like this episode. 1,725 likes is needed to have the most like Virgin Galactic Friday. So let's go. We are talking about the Virgin Galactic space stock performance obviously first then we will move to a stock chart analysis then I would like to go just quickly into a timeline of Virgin Galactic for the next couple of weeks and months and then we will talk about the marketing of Virgin Galactic and finally closing with the Q3 earnings. The space stock performance over the last seven days since our last Virgin Galactic episode was a kind of a roller coaster. And is it something new for us? Rather not. But but there was an opportunity on the 30th of October where you could buy the stock at 17 dollars, guys. And let me make it a little bit more clear. I think that this opportunity is unique guys okay we are seeing maybe a stock market ready towards the end of the year then maybe the uh, overall focus on virgin galactic because of the space flight of richard brands in the q1 and then you will never see virgin galactic stock at 17 dollars again so think about it if it's not right to buy more if you are interested into this company obviously this is no financial advice i'm not the financial advisor this is just my personal opinion what i do with my money with my stocks okay i just keep loading up because i'm still not at the position where i think i want to be which is you know uh, several thousands or even 10,000 shares of Virgin Galactic, okay? So I'm still building up. I hope you are with me on board. Let me know in the comments if you know something that I don't know, but I'm uh, really deep into this company and I would love to have your feedback on this as well. But let's have a look. So we started the week with about uh, 1766, uh, then we had the uh, end of October crash, let's say, or mini crash. And then since then we are just on the way up and could uh, recover from 17, which was the lowest point, about 6%, which, you know, we are continuing this trend with a market cap just below $4 billion. And I think, you know, there's really an interesting drive for growth stocks after, you know, the value stocks will be some kind of settled. So I think this plus the Q1 space flight with Richard Branson will catapult this into a totally different galaxy. And I think that this is one of my most conviction trades out there because they are just so unique and have such a mode against any other companies and it's one of the fastest growing industries the space industry that you can ever imagine this will be human kind changing and i hope that you go on board in this spaceship So here we are on our favorite stock with the stock chart. And as you can see, nothing really happened that dramatically except the following what we predicted a little bit last time that, you know, once we going under or out of this bowling our bands, then we went just in. And now it's the question if we can cross through the 50 as well as the 200 moving lines here in the purple slash respectfully the 
red line here because this will be very important once we break through that and we have seen that here back in uh, September as well as uh, let me have a look we had the same here back on July okay so we broke here through those uh, resistance and then we had a nice uh, upwards or potential and put opportunity here and as you can see we went also through this line that or this channel here that went uh, further down and down and down it was nicely that we broke out through here and now uh, in a kind of recovery we couldn't go lower than 17.4 two dollars uh and the end of the day and uh, you know just before the earnings we are quite positive let's see how it will uh, look like in the next couple of days uh, very important will be next week because you know this week is a kind of very turbulent week right so the question will be first if we are looking into the chart of space a couple of things let's draw a little bit here okay so first of all it will be important if we can break through this line here because once we break through, we might see higher prices. The next test would be somewhere here at a very strong resistance here, as you can see, you know, a couple of times we couldn't break through. So this area will be important if we should not go through. Let's say there will be some negative news the next days, you know, not only today, Friday, but also um, Monday, Tuesday, just, just up about the next week, then we could go further down and then it, it really depends where we are having the next resistance line. And I will show you where we have those lines because it's pretty simple a couple of times we bounce back of this resistance and as you can see it's about at 40 okay it could be 14.5 it could be 14 dollars but about this line you know here we went a couple of times against it and we never went since then since june we didn't touch it even so i think this could be the lower worst case scenario i would love guys i would love to see the stock you know going up, up to 12 or even 10 to the ipo price but you know we also need to be uh, realistic here so i think you know this both scenarios and on the other side you know we can uh, obviously trade in between somewhere so i'm super excited uh, how we go further from here i will definitely keep you guys updating make sure to follow me everywhere because sometimes if i have something on my mind i post it on instagram as well so check out uh, instagram as well otherwise let's get back to the vlog talking about the timeline of Virgin Galactic is very important uh, because of following reasons and I will uh, show you the whole timeline here on this wall. First of all, you know, we are starting with the Q3 earnings that are happening now begin of November, okay? So we are having a better understanding what are those numbers, what is the cash burn and so on and so forth. We will talk about the Q3 later on in this vlog. Then we are moving into the test phase, okay? This will be the next point. The next point on our timeline is very important because we see that uh, the Virgin Galactic marketing that we will also talk about later in this vlog is picking up, which is you know always a good sign that we are very close to the overall uh, action, okay? And the action, I mean the test flight with the powered situation on the spaceship too which will you know give us uh, first of all great uh, news second of all great footage and third of all just another you know certainty to the stock to the company that they are so close to the final rehearsal flight which will come afterwards i said it in one of the vlogs before but i would say it again i think that we can expect this to happen somewhere end of november or beginning of December and then the next powered flight will be maybe somewhere in January and February and then uh, we are going into the end of Q1 Richard Branson test flight which will be just so historic right I mean what they do 
than with Richard Branson is something that they do on a regular basis, right? But it's the, it's the founder and it will be such a PR and marketing spending done and such nicely documented and uh, throughout uh, CNBC and other news outlet will all be talking about this uh, uh, move and it will be not, uh, you know, surprisingly if just on this one day the stock can move, you know, 20, 30 percent, right? Uh, just because they announced a new CEO by Disney, which was Michael Coglazer, the stock went up 20 percent in one day. So as you can see, there's huge potential and uh, this is what I want to emphasize. So we are starting with the earnings beginning of this month to Towards the end of this month or beginning of December, the test flight, the power test flight, then we are moving into the second power test flight, maybe, you know, beginning of the Q1 and then the final flight with Richard Branson, end of Q3. I'm super excited. I hope you too. Before we diving into the marketing of Virgin Galactic, which will be very crucial for the future of Virgin Galactic, I would like to animate you to press the join button because when you are pressing the join button and if you don't see it, take another browser like for example, Google Chrome, then you will be able to join a community, the Wolf of Dubai membership where you have three tiers the first one the gold one is support this channel okay if you like this content if you want to support me make sure to get the gold membership the second one will get you access to the, our discord channel where we talk 24 hours about stocks and other things in life so make sure to make this and there's also a, a specific channel only for virgin galactic investors so definitely a lot and lot of people out there that having the same mindset as you and third if you want to have even more of me you can can get me as your personal mentor and uh, write with me on uh, email or social media and I can become your professional uh, mentor in terms of we can exchange of ideas and trades and portfolio and, and all those things you know you can be one-on-one with me so I think this is something uh, uh, that nobody is offering there in the financial world of YouTube now let's talk about the Virgin Galactic marketing okay because the marketing as soon as they have some footage, I feel like it's giving you a small appetite to what can happen in a couple of months once we are in the full operation. And here you go. Just 14 hours ago, you know, they are, they are showing this picture where we can spot the uh, mothership. Here you go. I spotted it. Thank you very much. Then obviously you have more of this uh, footage where it's at the New Mexico spaceport location, right? With the whole team around it. And uh, you have a lot of pictures this was posted 18 hours ago and then you know you have uh, one day before you have some updates so as you can see at uh, once you know the operation is starting you have so much content to post and so much update and this exactly will keep the space talk going up because as more people know about it as more people are fascinated as more people are seeing there's something going on as more interesting for investors the same method is used by Elon Musk with Tesla right Right? Or, or SpaceX. Everyone knows this company. Why? Because he is always constantly posting about it. And this is the same with Virgin Galactic. And obviously the Virgin Galactic is something that is absolutely mind-blowing as you can see here with the VMS Eve taking off and uh, going into the sky. And this is not only one platform. This is just the Twitter. And we are talking the same thing on Instagram, right? So as you can see here, the uh, introduction of the pilots or you know the recent pictures of the white knight 2 at the spaceport america you know the photos videos of the test flights and all of this is just so beautifully done that this will definitely uh, create some appetite for this one or the other hedge funds we know that you know katie woods having uh, trust into this company with their ARC fund uh, that is uh, concentrated on robotics and I think that if you want to be part of this hugely growing, hugely growing space industry, then space is something that you should look into. 
As of this recording, the Q3 numbers are not yet out, which is to your advantage because I will go through what I'm looking into the earnings and then we can compare on this Friday if I was right or where we can see some development that I didn't saw or where you were right, writing me in the comments what you look for in the Virgin Galactic stock performance okay then let's dive into this beautiful animated presentation obviously they introduced michael cole glazer the last time uh, they said about uh, you know the milestones and this would be the most important i think one of the most important factors for the earnings and the action on the stock will be when we know how is the progress on the first space flight will there will be some delays or will this be you know on time in q1 2021 now with new you know th situation with the health crisis maybe this will be an excuse to move it and then the stock will definitely tank but this will be just another opportunity to pick up some more for less and i would be super 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 happy when i can you know pick up virgin galactic stock for 14 and anything below that or 15 would be also fantastic because i just have so much conviction in this company and the stock so let's have a look this will be important and obviously they will talk about the test flights that they did recently with the uh, white knight 2 on their first uh, flight from a new mexico location and then they will you know uh, talk about the other uh, ffa approval processes i guess so this will be the next uh, couple of uh, of slices then they will maybe talk about a little bit uh, about the build program which is fantastic I think also the focus will be also that they're increasing the staff, right? We see a lot and lot of new positions into LinkedIn as well as new two new pilots that we spoke about. So uh, this is definitely going forward. And I think, and this will be important, maybe we will have a glimpse into the cabin, into the real installed cabin. So this will be quite interesting. Then we are definitely looking into this uh, spaceport. The uh, customer demand will be definitely a topic. How reservation changed over the last couple of weeks uh, do they gained which I uh, hope and I assume or they went you know uh, just flat the uh, negative situation would be when we see some uh, cancellation of the reservations this obviously would be not so great but I think this would uh, be not the case and then uh, maybe we will have an update on the beautiful you know, designed Mach 3 airplane for 19 passengers that will revolutionize the private plane industry. And uh, further than that, I think there will be maybe some updates on some financials as well, which are not so uh, interesting in that far that, you know, we don't have so much revenue to come through. So the only interesting is thing, do they be burned $30 million, $50 million, $80 million? As you know, they did a capital raise just in uh, the last or just after the last uh, quarter earnings, which gave them, you know, six to eight quarters of uh, pensum if they use the same uh, quarter millions uh, of uh, cash or burn from last time but you know I don't want to say anything in my opinion there have uh this growth companies have to spend money okay to make a company in a mode more extensively and more innovative then a company need to spend money guys so i'm totally fine if they would be more and more capital raises over the next couple of months just to have the virgin galactic crew focus on really the development of the mach 3 and the space tourism program i'm super excited and uh, let me know in the comments what you think <music>